All right, so I wanted to do a little review on on density because density will probably be on your first CBA, and we haven't talked about it in a while. So um, I grabbed our old quiz, and I said, well, let's look at some of these problems real quick. So first of all, just remember that if you're looking for the formula for density, it will always be on your resources that are in your test booklet. In other words, you will have your periodic table in there, and on the flip side of the periodic table, you're going to be able to find those um, formulas that you need for 8th grade science. So you're never without a formula. There's no excuses here. Here it is. Density is equal to mass and volume. Here it also gives you the actual abbreviation for density equals mass and volume. So, all right, and it will always be on the back of the reference material periodic table. So we're looking at this um, data table, and we're seeing that different substances are having different amount of mass and different amount of volume. Well, we don't know the density. This is our unknown here. So what do we need to do? Well, if we know that density is equal to mass divided by volume, we need to take the mass and divide it by the volume. So 6.95 divided by 4. So that leaves 2.95. So we just move the decimal and deal with it later. So 7 times 4 is 28. So that leaves 15. And that goes in 3. And then that would be 12 with the remainder of 3. So approximately 1.7, sorry, 1.73 times. Um, uh, here we have substance number 2, mass is 4.54 divided by 2, uh, that goes 2 times, and then 2 times again, and that's within 7, so it's 2.27. So we're going to keep doing this math till we get to where we need to be, 5.4 divided by 3, that goes once, and the remainder of 2, and that goes 8, so 1.8. So here you see what I'm doing. I'm calculating to find the density so that I can actually go back and enter the, answer the question. 10.35 uh, divided by 5, and... Uh, that's 7, so 2.7. All right. Don't let the decimal throw you. Just divide and go back and put the count the number spaces if you divide through and put your decimal. All right. So here we have our density that we've calculated, and we're trying to identify unknown substances, and we're comparing them with some known substances. So here were our unknowns, here are our knowns. So we're wanting to know which unknown substance is most likely carbon. If I look to find the density of carbon, it's 2.27. Well, I came up with exactly that number for substance number two. So substance number two must be 2.27. Now that kind of goes over the formula and that you do have to calculate it. You can't guess. Um, some other things that I need you to remember about density. Um, the denser the object uh, is going to float. Uh, excuse me. The dense, sink, dense substances will sink and less dense will float. So if you're looking at a graduate cylinder, you're going to find the most dense here, right? and the less dense at the top. Okay, so you could actually scale these in and sh see where they would be as far as uh, sink or float. Um, trying to remember 
what else would be important to point out of this at this time? Uh, you may or may not see a question that asks you to look at um, the calculating the volume using the displacement method, method like here. So remember we had initially 50 milliliters of water in the graduated cylinder, no rock in it, but then we threw the rock in it and it ended up at 75 milliliters. Okay, so that difference here, this right here from 50 to 25 is the rock's volume, right? So uh, obviously the difference between 75 and 50 is going to be 25 and we're measuring in milliliters, so 25 milliliters is the rock's volume. Now we're not done yet when it comes to density. That's just the volume. Remember density is equal to mass divided by volume. So we still need the mass. Here it tells us that the mass of the object was 75 grams. So if the mass of the object is 75 grams and the volume is 25 milliliters, then we know that the density is going to be 3 grams per milliliter. Remember, density is always going to have two units involved as a, a answer because it has two two measurements involved in the problem, in the process. Remember, if you are not using a liquid for volume, it might look like centimeters cubed. These are actually also interchangeable, but you want to make sure you go with the volume if your problem states you're looking at volume. So our answer on this one here would be 3 grams per milliliter. All right, let's see, is there anything else we need to remember about density? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Um, well, I think that's about it. Uh, have your teacher show you the sphere balls that I purchased and you'll be surprised to see what happens as far as their density. So that's all the questions we're going to go over.